All right, here we go. Today's hashtag daily debate for at MMA Junkie Radio is now that George St. Pierre is poised to announce his retirement, what was the biggest win of his career? Matt Hughes, UFC 65. BJ Penn, UFC 94. Michael Bisping, UFC 217. Or other. And other can be any of the other 23 fantastic wins he handed in his career goes. I thought about this long and hard because I was going to go Matt Hughes at first and I switched it. I am going Michael Bisping. No, you blew it. I'm going to tell you why. Okay. The reason I switched it was because I realized that with Matt Hughes, as a welterweight, GSP's legacy has pretty much been cemented, Mm -hmm. right? What he needed to do was now that people like a John Jones, a Daniel Cormier that have come around, that's when that word pound for pound got thrown out more, right? And so he needed to do something to be able to battle those legacies. Okay, but he doesn't get there unless he beats Matt Hughes at UFC 65 because if he loses, he's 0-2 against Matt Hughes. And we know the road to that third shot. Ask Joseph Benavidez, you know, about something like that. Mm -hmm. Ask Cody Garbrandt if it's going to be easy to get that fight. Someone else would have got him. Matt Hughes or? Matt Hughes. So, well, yeah, maybe, but. Hey, Dennis Hallman got him twice. Doesn't get into that hole. Now I've defended it this many times, and now I am possibly one of the Yeah, but if we're going to play that game, then we should put his birth on there, right? I mean, there's a lot of of steps, George. This isn't Terminator, okay? But before he beat Bisping, he was already one of the greatest. He was on a lot of Mount Rushmore's. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess it was very nice for him to pick up that second belt. But But when we look at the overall GSP, what's really going to make us say – Wow, that dude was amazing. You can look at Tyron Woodley and say, wow, he's an amazing welterweight. But you can't say anything about him pound for pound. Is DC an amazing welterweight? Or, sorry, uh, um, fighter? Yes. Okay, what stops him from being called one of the greatest? Nothing. No, what are most people saying when they argue that he's not one of the greatest? What do they right away point to? Well, John Jones. How many times did he lose to him? Depends who you ask, well, but, but twice. Twice, once on record, but twice. Mm-hmm. And that could have happened against Matt Hughes, and that would have slowed a lot of things. We don't know because GSP, we've said a lot of great things about him here on the show. But early on, I think mentally, a lot of people said, hey, is he as strong as some of these other guys? Could he have recovered from something like that? And what has Daniel Cormier do to bounce back against those people? He won another title in another division. GSP did that against Michael Bisping. It was his first fight as a middleweight. He came in, finished him. Something that a lot of people don't really give GSP too much credit throughout his career is getting those finishes. He got the finish at a higher but if he weight class. Even beat Hughes, he's not even the best welterweight ever. You can't even argue like bar none any weight class or you know pound for pound or anything like that. Like people would stop you right away and go, well, "He's not even the best." He well, but who's to say he couldn't have beaten somebody else down the line, right? Possibly. All right. Well, that's how great. GSP was because I thought there was some other ones that we could have down uh, went down the road with, like uh, the Johnny Hendricks win was huge. I mean Hendricks was a guy that was just gunning for him, and right at a time where you think guys don't have motivation and you know they're just uh, not training as hard, and you're going to catch him on a bad night, he still had enough to speak out a decision. Literally, literally, there was some great choices. This is how it broke down, folks. Thank you to Junkie Nation, by the way our readers of the site and listeners of the show for all of your votes. Over 1,300 came in. 52% said Matthews, UFC 65. Eh. Second place was Michael Bisping at 26%. Third place was BJ Penn at 18%. Only 4% said others. So it looks like we picked the right three. And there you have it. There's the Daily Debate brought to you by the MMA Junkie Radio team.